What's up guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are well. Welcome to another video. So today we are going to be talking about this office right here. I'm going to give you guys a tour, show you what's going on, talk about what's behind me, talk about all the stuff right here that you guys can't see in my typical videos. I think it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go. So before we get into this video guys, what do you think of the new intro? Believe it or not, that took me like an hour to edit, probably longer than that even, two hours maybe, maybe not two hours, but at least an hour. Yes, my video editing skills are not great, that is as good a job as I've managed to do just for now, but surely, surely that new intro deserves a like. Hit that thumbs up button, it's right there, just below us. Go check it out, give me that thumbs up, give me the like on the video. I reckon it's worth it for the brand new intro. If you guys are new to the channel, please do think about subscribing. Loads more videos to come, loads of other videos already on my channel that you should go check out. There'll be a link to a couple of those at the end of this video. Don't forget to go check out my social media channels. You can find me over on Instagram, three different places, at Rob Samble Sport at Scorchers Photog and at Rob Samples Photo. That last one at Rob Samples Photo, you can find me on Twitter using that one as well. Go check them out, follow along, comment on something, let me know that you've come from YouTube. It's always real cool to see who's come from my YouTube channel to my Instagram or to my Twitter. So let me know, just comment on something and tell me you come from YouTube. So today we're going to talk about this office, the room I'm sat in right now. A lot of you guys will know um, I moved into this house, uh, at the, well, kind of at the tail end of last year. Um, and that's when this room where we're sat right now filming this video became the main um, focus point for Rob Samuels photography. This is the office that we moved into. When I first moved into this room, it looked very different. In fact, it was completely empty. Here's a clip of what the room looked like back then. Since that point, I've tried to change it up. For the first time, I've got as a, um, a background for the video. So something with a bit more purpose in the background. You guys know on my channel, I used to just have whatever was behind me in the background. And I wanted to try and make a difference. I wanted to try to change that a little bit as well. I wanted to give myself somewhere I could um, permanently set up to be able to film the videos. And that's what I've tried to do. I've tried to create a setup that's much easier for me. I can just come into the room, flick a couple of switches, and I'm good to go to start filming videos. Now, whilst I know the background is going to be interesting for you guys, and I'm sure there are things on these shelves or on the wall where you've thought, you know, I wonder what that is. I'll be interested to hear when Rob does the, uh, the office tour. And don't worry, we're going to cover all that stuff today. But at the same time, there's things you don't see, right? So right now, for example, I'm sat at my desk. I've got my computer set up right here. I've got my microphone. You can't see that. That's off the, off the picture right now. And I've also got three lights set up. I've got three lights on me right now. You don't get to look this good without a few extra lights uh, on you so I do that to brighten myself up so I thought as a first point to call I would quickly show you guys what I see right now sat here so to do that we're going to use the action cam so let me show you what I can see right now okay so there we go this is the view I have every time I'm filming my video first of all I've got my camera set up right here this is a Canon 70D and this is what I use to film the majority of my videos I've got my main computer desk, so right here is my main computer desk. I've got my penguin mouse mat, I took this photo when I was on a holiday in South Africa. I've got my computer set up, so this is my main computer, I use this for all my photo editing, my video editing, everything. I've got my little wire organiser, I try to use this just to keep my wires a bit more organised. And I've got a few random bits on my desk, we've got Morph, we've got George, you remember George from the video the other day. I have a memory card reader, this Alexa, same as the one that I carry everywhere when I'm on jobs. This is the second one which I always have plugged into my office. I've got my Wi-Fi adapter, lens camera, which is for the 70D up here. I've got my drinks coaster, of course, and that's the actual main desk. 
Now, over here to the right, I have my microphone. So this is the microphone setup. Right now, I use a Rode VideoMic Go. I'm looking to change this because I get a lot of comments about my audio not being good enough, frankly. And so I want to try to upgrade this microphone and see if I can make a difference. I think the biggest problems with my audio in this room, though, actually comes from the Echo. Because I've got this big window right here, and the window is great um, in the daytime because I get a whole extra light to come through here. Um, but at, generally speaking, it creates echoes. The room is fairly empty. Um, there's a big sort of ceiling up above here, which I'm going to show you in a second. And the room generally is very echoey. It's not great for the sound. That runs on an extended wire right the way around the back and plugs into the Canon 70D right here. Anyone who's wondering, the lens is a Canon 10 to 22 mil. Fairly simple, wide angle lens, um, so that I can film the videos nice and easily and we can adjust this, zoom in or out as we need to. Now I talked about lights. I do have three lights on me right now, or say on me, three lights around me. Two of them actually are on me and one of them is not. The first one is over here. Now I have this as a main fill light. This is just a very simple light panel. I'll show you how it turns on and off in one second. It is attached to a Manfrotto magic arm and then just attached onto the desk right here. I use this for the main fill lights. Let me show you how that works. So that fill light is the one that is currently on my face right now. Let me show you what happens if I turn it off. You see, suddenly it gets an awful lot darker. The background's still nicely lit up, but I'm sat here in the dark. We don't want that situation, so that's why we have the light. Let's turn it back on. And just like that, we've got the light back again. So you see why I've got that main light set up over there. It's dimmable, so you can see I can turn it down, I can turn it up, whatever I think is about right. Probably there is about right. So that's what the main fill light is for. Now, the second light in my setup is actually over here to my left. It's not pointing at me at all. It is pointing onto the back wall. The reason being is because we want to add a little bit of extra light to that background, because otherwise it will look a little bit dark in the videos. Let me show you what I mean. Now, that light for the background, you saw just now, when I turned off the main fuel light, I was in the dark. But see what happens when we turn the light off in the background. Have a look. You see, it goes dark and the background is great. You can still see it back there. You can see I've got the stuff on the shelf. I've got the couple of pictures on the wall, but it doesn't look as good as if the light is turned on. It just gives that room a nicer feeling and makes the videos better to look at. And thirdly, but certainly not least, we have a big light where you're probably thinking, Rob, we can't see this extra light. What are you talking about? It is above my head. So I have a big light above my head, which is actually on a huge boom arm over here. And it runs above my head. Let me show you from further back. So here's the whole setup from further back, guys. We've got the light over here to the left, which is the one that's pointing at the background. We've got the main fill light over here. And then above my head, this is the light that comes down. This is actually just the room light. I don't have this on when I'm filming videos because otherwise, if I turn that on, you can see it just throws off the light in the room and creates shadows and stuff. I don't want light I'm not controlling, hence why I just have these lights here instead. Now this light above my head, and this light over here to the left. These are just fairly simple um, newer lights which I bought from Instagram. I'm going to be putting the link to all of this equipment in the description below so please do check it out if you are interested. The light above my head is attached to the boom arm. I've then got some magic arm clamps which I've used to attach it to this pole and this pole is just a simple decorator's DIY um, sort of tension arm. So why do I have that light above my head? Well, really, the simple reason is to give me a little bit of extra light across me. But what it also does, where it's coming from above, other than making my head nice and shiny, unfortunately, I get the shiny head wherever I am. That's just the nature of having receding hair. Unfortunately, it is what it is. I've had that for years. I do not care. <laughs> but the other main reason is because it creates separation between me and the background. So you see where it adds some light to my shoulder here and onto my head and onto my hair, it creates that separation from the background. It doesn't add as much difference as the fill light or the background light, but none the difference. It's still a key um, aspect of the video. Let me show you what happens if we turn that one off. Let's have a look. 
And there you go, you see, it just kind of puts a bit more shadow onto me. You can still see the background lit up from the other lights. You can still see my face has got some light on it from the light right here. But I've just got that shadow across me. It kind of looks like I'm sat in a cave or something almost. So that's why we have the main fill light above my head. Because as you'll see, it just looks better when we turn it back on. There we go. So that's enough talk of the lights. Let's go and have a look and see what we've got going on in this background. So first things first, I need to grab you guys off there and you're going to come with me around the room. Let's go. Now, I'll be absolutely honest with you guys. I did think about tidying up this room before I did this tour. But then at the same time, I thought, you know what? I don't want to do a video like that. I want to show you guys what this office is actually about and how it gets used. So you're not going to see a sterile, typical YouTuber's office tour video. You're going to see the stuff that I deliberately make look nicer, like the background, but you're also going to see the stuff that's a hell of a lot more messy, like this side of the camera. <laughs> so let's go have a look. I'm going to switch you guys around so I can talk you through what we've got going on in the background. Okay, so first of all, on our way towards the background, sat down here, we have my main wheelie case. You guys have seen this case an awful lot before. The reason I put it there, two things. A, to give you something a bit more in the background, but B, also just to hide the stuff I have sat down behind there. That is packaging materials that I have for like when I sell prints and my photos and stuff like that. You'll also see here I have a program. This is a program for one of the England games I shot recently. Um, England versus Czech Republic at Wembley. It looks cool in this part of the background but it's also there to hide my charging station. So this is where I have all my chargers set up which I don't want in the background of my videos. So let's have a look at the shelves themselves. So first of all, I have got some old cameras and stuff set up on this top shelf. This is an old Olympus Trip 35. This actually used to belong to my dad. So it's an old camera that my dad gave me. This is a really old camera. I just need to remind myself to make sure I'm sure. This is a uh, this is an Ensign Selfix. So this is actually a camera that my great uncle um, actually left me when he sadly passed away. It's a really old camera which I have in the background and this is the box for that same camera. Now I'll be interested to see with this one how many people watching my videos thought this was a camera and how many people picked up that it is in fact a painted model. This is not a real camera. I'll be really interested to hear who knew that already or who thought it was a real camera sat in the background of my videos. Okay, moving down to the next shelf. So on this shelf, I have, um, I guess, some memorabilia, which is important to me from my time shooting football. So first of all here, this is a cutting from my first um, national press photo. It's a picture from the Chelsea v Norwich game in the FA Cup at Stamford Bridge. Batshuayi scoring the winning goal. Um, this was my first um, national press photo. So this was in the Guardian newspaper. I then have the programme cover from the first ever England game that I photographed. This was England against Brazil in Wembley. And then I then have the programme cover from my first ever FA Cup final, Chelsea versus Man United. That was at Wembley last year. Move down underneath. I've got the first programme from the first ever Fulham first team game which I photographed. This one was actually a couple of years ago. You guys know I do a lot of work with Fulham, a lot of academy work. But this was the first time I'd photographed a first team match. And then being honest with you guys, on these other shelves, I just have things which I think will make a nice looking background. So I tend to put some of my equipment here. This is my 70s 200. We talked about this in my last video. I've got a ball head from my Gorillapod. And I've got some other random bits. I've got a couple of boxes. So this is the box from my drone from my DJI Spark. The box from my Osmo action camera. And then down here, I've just got some random tools and like a money box thing sat on that bottom shelf. Something else you guys might have noticed I have hanging in the background is an awful lot of lanyards. Now these are the lanyards from all the various different sports events I've done. It's not every sports event I've done, but it's a lot of the events I've covered in the last two years. So we've got football things in there, uh, we've got the NBA in the back there, um, some BBL basketball, England football, Premier League, all kinds of things. What else have we got here? Yeah, that's England, FA Cup, um, Skybet Playoffs, Premier League, everything in there. I tend to just keep these because they're nice memories and a nice record and the lanyards are pretty cool as well. 
Okay, so what about the photos or the pictures I've got hanging on the wall? So first up, I have this photograph of Kobe Bryant of the LA Lakers in the NBA. This photo was shot by a very famous NBA photographer called Andrew Bernstein. It's one of my favourite NBA photos. I mean, there are hundreds of great photos in the NBA, but it's one of my favourite NBA photos. I was always a fan of Kobe Bryant when I was younger, and for me, it just really kind of shows the athleticism that Kobe Bryant brought to the league. My favourite NBA photo, so that's why I have that on the wall of my office. Over on the other side... We have a bit of a random picture, but this is actually a picture that was drawn by my brother. For my 30th birthday, he drew me this picture and gave it to me. So I've got that on the wall. I've had it on the wall of my house and stuff in the past. And now it is on the wall of my photo office. And then down in this area, look, this is the more messy stuff, right? This is the stuff you don't tend to see on the video. Over here is just general storage. I'm not going to worry too much about telling you what's there because it is all kinds of stuff. But over here, this is where I keep all of my gear. So I've got my drone in my box here. I've got the camera backpack. You guys have seen this before. I've got my basketball shoes down here. I've got the Amazon Basics backpack. Yes, I still use this all of the time. I've got some random bits of clothes down in here. And I've got the roller case sat over here on the side. So that is where I keep all of the photo gear. Those of you guys who got a lot of gear, you know it takes up a lot of room. So I tried to keep that down in there. Got a spare Hive's vest as well. That's my think tank belt wedged into that gap too. And various other bits in the office. Coming back around to the desk itself, so this is the tripod where I keep the main camera when I'm filming. I always have the camera set up on that tripod, keeps it nice and steady. It's a real simple, cheap tripod. I didn't need anything fancy, I just needed something that was going to sit there at the back of the room and get used when I film my videos. It's a permanent feature set up underneath the desk. Also underneath the desk on my computer, I keep it down here between my feet. There we go, to brighten that up for you guys. I keep that down there in a various other wires and plugs and other ugliness under there. Right, let's get you guys back up here in this tripod. And there we have it, guys. You guys are way too close. You're getting a good look at the background there, though. But you're way too close. Let's move you out a bit. There we go. And you can see, I try to generally frame the videos like that. If I go too wide, you can start to see I've got a lot more gaps coming in. You can't see the background too well. You would start to see the light stand over here or a lot of the rubbish I have over this side. So what I tend to do is I try to keep the video slightly better framed so you guys get a nice look at the background. You see me um, and I think it works pretty well. So that's the photo office, guys. Let me know what you think, hey? Let me know what your office looks like. What do you have in your office that I should consider getting mine? Is there anything you've seen today that you've thought, cool, I want one of those? I'm gonna get one of those for my office. I'm always interested to know, so please do comment below and let me know. I think that just leaves me to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you are new. And guys, I will see you on the next video, which will be on Tuesday. I'll see you guys then.